for reading at this time. And it's a proclamation to recognize the fact that this town meeting represented a former government. This is the 50th meeting of our doing business in the untraditional way, as many would think. And let me read the resolution. Whereas in 1950, the population and growth to Brattleboro had caused town meeting to outgrow its space. Whereas during that time, town meeting had become unruly and chaotic. <laughs> Whereas a group of forward-thinking citizens began investigating alternatives that would address the problem of space and order. Whereas those progressive citizens brought before the town the solution of representative town meeting. Whereas Brattleboro citizens discussed and debated the change to representative town meeting for over several years. And whereas on March 1, 1960, the citizens of Brattleboro took the bold step to approve the establishment of the representative form of town meeting. Whereas since that date, the citizens of Brattleboro have cast votes to affect, to affect and elect members to representative town meeting. Whereas members of the meeting meet annually to thoroughly discuss and debate town and town school issues. Whereas in recognition of Brattleboro's success, the Vermont Senate this year passed a bill allowing towns in Vermont with a population of over 5,000 uh, 5, to establish a representative meeting. Therefore, let it be known that on the 50th anniversary of the passage of representative town meeting, members of the 2010 representative town meeting recognize and honor the tradition of Brattleboro's representative town meeting. Now to speak to the resolution, I'd like to call upon, at least to our best recollection, a person who was very instrumental when he was a state senator and the representative from Brattleboro in having this, res this town form of government adopted by the Vermont legislature. And he's been a member of this group ever since then. And that's the Honorable Robert Gannett State Senator from Brattleboro. Mr. Gannett. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. <clears throat> uh, I think that it's a great pleasure for me, and I know how pleased the other members of that special committee, and it consisted of Hadley Shumway, the town clerk, Ralph Chapman, the town moderator, Dick Sherwin, who represented the Board of Selectmen, and we came up with this recommendation, which in my opinion has resulted in a very successful uh, form of meeting, which uh, for many reasons has proved valuable uh, to the town. And I'm glad the legislature, after 50 years, recognizes that and makes the change easier for other towns. And I think, I hope some of them will take it up. And uh, because I think the towns 
of over 5,000. It's a way to assure representation to everybody in terms of the built-in methods of appeal and the fact that we cannot pass over anything. That leaves the issue open for the whole town to reconsider. I cannot help but say, looking around this room and knowing how well represented we all are, how we represent different feelings, maybe even political parties, but that's not a part of this meeting. I could only wish that something as important as is being considered in Washington in the next 24 hours could be handling it in the way that we sitting here today can show them and anybody else that this is the way democratic government should be handled and I'm proud that Battle Bows does it and we have such good attendance and we, as far as I know, there's never been a fist fight in 50, <laughs> in 50 years, thanks to our moderator. <laughs>